Visiting German driver Maro Engel came out on top after a great weekend of racing at the Australian GT Championship round at Phillip Island. Engel started from pole position but had to make do with a close second place to the Audi R8 LMS of V8 supercar driver Craig Lowndes in Saturday's first one-hour race. It was an impressive performance by the ex-DTM driver at his first time out at the challenging Phillip Island circuit. We asked him about his impressions of the track. Well, it's great. It's, it's really good fun, uh, really nice flow to it, and uh, really enjoying the track a lot. Um, I hear it's, you know, it's really uh, one of the best tracks here, and, and that's, that's absolutely what I've experienced so far. So how did this drive come about? Well, obviously, Airbus is, is very close to the AMG Customer Sports Program, um, where I'm contracted to AMG as a factory driver there. And uh, so it's come together that, um, you know, they've asked to, to give them a hand, and, um, and here I am. I'm really happy about that. You've got so much experience in other classes in Formula 3 and DTM most recently, also running these cars overseas in GT3. Um, are you enjoying this sort of sports car racing more, especially things like the, uh, the VLN, the, the Nürburgring Endurance Series? Um, well, it's great. You know, it, 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 every, every series has its own uh, little, you know, highlight. Um, one of the great things here is that everything's very familiar, you know. Um, it, it reminds me very much of my British Formula 3 days where, um, you know, it, at the end it purely comes down to racing and, and that's what we're all here to enjoy and, um, and so I'm really enjoying it down here. Of course, Erebus this weekend, I mean, you've come in just at the time when Erebus have had their public profile raised considerably with the news of next year's V8 supercar campaign. They're running an AMG, uh, well, not so much back, but an AMG customer car with Mercedes panels on it. It uh, would be a wonderful opportunity for, uh, for a young driver to get a drive at Bathurst. Uh, are you uh, whispering in Betty's ear? Uh, I think we, we, we just uh, need to take that easy and take it slow. I'm, I'm here with the, with the GT team. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. We're having a great time. We're on pole position. Um, that's great. Of course, the team has, has done an incredible, um, yeah, coup to, to to pull that off and, and step up into V8 Supercars next year, which is great. Really happy for Betty. She's a lovely person, and um, and everything else we'll just take from there. With Lowndes fresh off a victory in the Sandown 500, and with the Bathurst 1000 just around the corner. We asked Craig if his V8 supercar team, Triple Eight Racing, was in any way concerned about his dalliance into the world of GT racing. Uh, Roland's actually pretty good. He uh, he's, he's quite uh, open and happy for me to go and do other things. I, you know, normally this time of year I'd be over in Perth doing the Australasian Safari. So uh, you know, normally uh, doing something around this time. But uh, you know, it, it's you know, he's fine. As long as obviously I don't hurt myself. He knows obviously the Audi is a very uh, you know safe vehicle. Um, it's got a lot of different uh, you know electronics aids. It's got the ABS and the ASR and everything else. So, um, but for me it's just the uh, you know it's a great excitement to drive something different with a lot more downforce. Um, it doesn't have the horsepower, but uh, obviously with the tyres and the brakes and electronics it still laps faster around here at Phillip Island and what the V8 Supercar does. So what about, uh, you obviously enjoy this sort of racing as has been seen with the Bathurst 12 hour, what about future plans? I mean uh, would you like to have the opportunity to go over and do more international stuff like the Nürburgring 24 hour or even Le Mans? Oh look for sure there's no doubt that I've been wanting to do the you know, um, Le Mans for, for many years but uh, you know the Nürburgring I'd love to go, we went there last year unfortunately uh, to go over there and, and qualify for the 24 for our race and I didn't quite uh, unfortunately make the, make the race we had an accident uh, in, in qualifying but uh, all in all we had love to do that and we've been able to do that through Audi and I think that uh, you know the association we have now built over the last couple of years with them it's been fantastic and, uh, and of course when you come and do something like this it just sort of shows you how good the car is and, uh, and how easy it is to drive. Sunday's race saw Engel turn the table on Lowndes who found himself back in third place as Engel's Erebus teammate Peter Hackett came through to take second. Danish driver Alan Simonson started back in the pack after a drive-through penalty in race one. He recovered to finish fourth in race two and set a new lap record with a 131.28 second lap. In Formula 3, British driver James Winslow celebrated another championship with a win in the final race, but it was the stunning performance of 17-year-old Queenslander Hayden Cooper that had everybody talking. Cooper won race two held in appalling conditions on Sunday morning ahead of Formula 3 debutant Victorian Jake Fouracre. Cooper's performance has helped him win a $50,000 sponsorship which will go towards competing in next year's Formula 3 championship.